classy he is, the way he deals with the media, how he handles his kids. Very classy. Little chopper up the middle that finds a hole in a base hit. So Goslin is aboard. Here's a 1-1 pitch. He was leaning. Good jump. And not even a chance. Well, that was a great jump. Well, what they've done a couple of times. Very versatile athlete. He is their catcher of the future. He's played first base in left field. He's the DH today. There go the runners. Great jump. Throw to third. And there it is. A good example with 2-1 pitch. It's popped up. Shallow right. Catch is made. And this game is tied as the throw will come back into the infield. So Goslin scores on the RBI by Hicks. He's leading their team in hitting right now, so it's probably not a bad move. Steven Prosha rips a single out to left. So leadoff base hit. So look for him to be very aggressive. There he goes. A chance at second and safe. One and two on Valdez. Round ball up the middle and a base hit. Procia being waved in. He will score. Virginia leads it two to one here in the fifth. Two right handers are Aaron Barrett, Rory McKean. Here's a grounder hit to short. Top play and it goes into left center field. Valdez rounding second. He'll wind up at third base. It's one of those in between hops, fellas, and that's a tough play. And it winds up in the outfield. And here comes Virginia again, trying to add to this two. Valdez is the runner at third base. John Barr is at first. And here we go with nobody out and their most dangerous player at the plate. And a pickoff. And no one's there. So Barr winds up at second base. There's a line drive into center. It is caught. Run will score. And they'll throw it into third. So it's three to one. Virginia. Cannon delivers with his 37th RBI to score Valdez. And they settled for only two runs instead of the three or four runs that were available to them. On 2 and 0. Oh, base hit right field. And another run will score on the misplay in right. Phillips overran it. And Goslin winds up at second base. Big gap in left center. And a leadoff walk. Just what Ole Miss needed. Second consecutive College World Series appearance. They swept Rice at Baton Rouge. That's oh, line and a play. double play. Holson tags the bag as he was holding that runner on. So he was in perfect position. And just like that, there's two outs. And let me out. There's a shot in the left center field. Oh, hit. hit. And off the 365 side. Leadoff double for John Hicks. One, two, slap the other way. That's a base hit. The runners at first and third. Nobody out for Virginia. Steven Prosia. Runners at first and third. Lines it down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Into the corner it goes. One run is in. Holson being waved in. They'll stop him there. It's a double. They've added to their lead. It's 5-1 Cavaliers. On one and two, it's lined into right center. And the catch made. One, two pitch. Check swing. And he went. Virginia is one out away from the College World Series. Here's a 1-0. But again, it is a reflection of uh, yeah. Brian O'Connor. He played at Creighton, which is located in Omaha, Nebraska. The 1-1 pitch. They're down to their final strike. And there has been nobody in the country that has had a harder road to get to the College World Series than the Cavaliers. And now they're up on the top step and a slider right here could end this thing. He's got a dandy right now. Rico can, can make history. One-two pitch on the outside corner. That's it. 
Virginia from the ACC, first time ever in school history. They're headed to the College World Series.